what's going on? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ Life. Hope you're all doing well and welcome to cancer season. Okay, that's beginning July 20, uh, sorry, June 22nd going into July 22nd. I'll get with it. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like the theme for you guys is love overall. Okay, not so much like romantic, but definitely like just Feelings of love, positive feelings toward like family, friends, positive feelings toward uh, your significant other, your spouse, okay? Definitely all the way around toward um, maybe your coworkers at your job, okay, those that you get along with. <laughs> we know how that goes. Um, coming at the bottom of the deck for you is Choice Upright, which I really like. You're kind of centered in a place of peace. You're definitely rising to the occasion of really, um, hmm, not so much reconciling something. It's about uh, exuding beauty, friendship, uh, things of that nature, love overall. Okay, I'm definitely getting this for you guys. This says, whatever I will happens to me. You're totally making some choices right now that are based on what you are passionate about, which is overall love. I'm definitely getting that with you guys during this season. Okay. Pulling out the cards. Do -do -do. <laughs> Yippee doo ba boo. Oh! Ouch. Alright, we have one strike in the game. Still going, still going. Don't worry. Mm, kind of carrying forward into the future a little. Hmm. Ooh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> the cards came out super quick for you guys because you're like ultra direct, your energy. So my guides are responding. Um, <laughs> first card coming up for you is, is Mother of Earth. Um, I'm sorry, Mother of Fire, Upright. Jesus, why do I want to say Earth? Um, maybe because uh, you're in a space where you want to be more giving, um, that sort of thing. Um, you have Pluto here. Uh, do keep in mind that it is, uh, it is retrograding up until October this year. Uh, and what's uh, happening with that is it, you know, in North Node, when it um, conjuncts the North Node energy, which is in Cancer, um, it's kind of... Um, taking things out of your life that no longer belong in it for you instead of you having to put work into it. Like all of your prayers are being answered essentially. If you did like an elaborate ritual of some type, the uh, results are coming in. Um, okay, let's be real about it. Lawn system upright. Okay, clarifying mother of fire upright. This is beautiful. You're really focusing on expanding yourself and um, ascending in a spiritual way. You have the number 11 here, which is the number of self-mastery. So that could be either on uh, a spiritual level, psychological level, or both. This says, I'm the one who's called justice and I'm gross iniquity. You are at the bottom, bottom of the deck. You're looking for some sort of justice because um, the planet Venus was there in the card at the bottom of the deck choice. Passion upright. Mm. This could very well have to do with work or business or um, somebody that you were with in the past romantically. Okay, something that had singed you in a way. Uh, something that did not work out that left you with little to no options. Um, something that you once in the past had looked forward to. Uh, but kept disappointing you over and over and over and over again type deal. And you just got sick of it. Second card coming up. You totally got sick of it. <laughs> You're on your own island, essentially. You're taking out, uh, out time to yourself to kind of figure out life, to figure out the things that you've been juggling, um, to figure out how they align so that you're able to move forward um with more steady footing. That's what I'm getting. First clarifying that a shaman and will upright, you're allowing things to happen naturally, which is really beautiful. 
okay? Whatever Pluto is taking away now, you understand is for the better, and you're trusting in the universe to guide you in that, in that light and in that direction. Second clarifying card is you absolutely are separating from something, an old opportunity or somebody, um, okay, pertaining to this. Yeah, because you got two and two. And whether you communicated or not, blah, whether you communicated this or not, the message is getting across, essentially. Because sometimes things are a little bit too painful to say or to mention before you move forward. You just kind of decide, let me just move forward anyway. And whoever this person is, will eventually get the message that I'd move forward and moved on rather um, and kind of put things to rest. <clears throat> Third card coming up is Coastal Water Upright. This is actually pretty cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a judgment point. Anything that's being taken away from you is helping you to um, deepen your perspective emotionally to see things for what they really are and to become more financially stable. Okay, it has to do with both. Again, <laughs> creative problem solving, definitely. Um, that is happening right now in both areas of life. Okay, it encompasses both love and um, business, work, that sort of thing. You're deepening right here emotionally. Because there are things that you are letting go of and walking away from. And this is really good because you're giving yourself a chance to start over again. Instead of going through things over and over and over again. Whew, first clarifier off of that. As a result of your walking away, secrets are coming out. <laughs> secrets are coming out either about... Um, a situation, opportunity, or person that you walked away from, or secrets are being revealed to you about yourself. Because right now you're in a position to where you are embracing yourself, not only yourself, but also embracing um, the guidance of the universe, the natural flow of things. You're actually able to embrace that. You're embracing the fact that it is not fruitful, um, Anything in the past was not meant to come to fruition. You're accepting that now. You're able to um, transmute the pain and put it into something that you already have going on. And you do have a lot going on, whether you know people see it or not, whether you believe it or not, you do have a lot going on. Um, yeah, you're, you're kind of, in a sense, taking your power back in a way from something or things that were not working out as a part of your self-mastery. And I love that law and system is here because I do believe that coincides with shaman and will upright the flow of everything. Third clarifier card off the third card. <laughs> Mother of air upright. Let me say the right thing, please. Um, yeah, you have uh, Earth with an air right here, which is focusing on your pragmatics. It's everything um, having to do with your pragmatics is in your headspace. You're kind of in a space where you're figuring things out, okay? This definitely goes with this card right here, okay? How do I juggle all these things, okay? Like, now that i found all these things, what do I do with it? Now that I rediscovered all these things that I've already had, what do I do with it? You're figuring that out right now. You definitely are. And <clears throat> I can really see like your dharma and your karma coming together, creating a nirvana space for you to figure it out in. I hope this makes sense to you guys. It's so general. <laughs> but it's very straightforward and there's nothing else to be said of it. Um, if you'd like further guidance on this matter, if it, if it resonated, get in contact with me. If it did not resonate, contact me. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, there are plenty of readers out here because I can't 
take the heat. I'm in the kitchen. I can take the heat. I got kitchen hands. You don't know. Bring it over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, for subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I am here, my dear. I'm also going to be rolling out more content, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for joining me, guys, and uh, happy, happy cancer season. It's definitely time to focus on getting your ducks in a row uh, as far as where you allocate your love goes and um, everything financial that is due to you that is coming in because it is quite deep. The more that you heal emotionally, the more that you will see financially. Believe it. It's the natural flow and order of things and it will happen. I love you. And until the next video, take care of yourselves. Blessed be.